Hey guys, welcome to our update video on the Windows Update. In this series, we are trying to publish a video per month with Microsoft's new features introduced with their Windows Insiders. This is our second video. The first one was on build 20190. You can check it out from the i button or description. So let's check out the new features without further wasting time. Build 20221 new features. Microsoft released build 20221 recently and it has a few new things to check out. With this build, you can access the Skype Meet Now directly from the taskbar. Now you can set up a meeting with just two clicks. You don't need to download anything. Clicking on this icon displays the Meet Now app which has two options. You can either create a meeting or join a meeting. Clicking on these options opens a new web page where you can start your video call. This step from Microsoft seems like they are eliminating the need for going to the other video conferencing services like Zoom. Though, for us, it's going to be easy to set up a meeting directly instead of opening the Skype and all. Another new thing is, you can now pin the notifications in your phone app. If you received an important notification and want to pin it, click the ellipses and choose Pin Notification. Now the notification stays on the top and if you want to unpin it, click on this icon. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Let's see the changes in this build. Now, you will receive notifications when an app registers to run at startup. It's a good step. Now we will know when some sneaky apps start to clog our PC. Another change is the People app is no longer a standalone app in the Start menu. Since most users were accessing the People app from Mail or Calendar app, it can only be accessed from there. Let's see new features and changes in past builds introduced this month. Windows Search now supports Dark Theme. If you have activated the Dark Theme system-wide, you can see it. With this build, the default apps pages and settings got a search feature. This feature is on the pages on Choose Default App by File Type, Protocol, or by App. With this build, the Emoji Picker got a makeover. Now you can search the emoji in several supported languages. You can even use the animated GIFs, which get updated according to the trends. You can access the clipboard on the Emoji Picker. It can also be accessed using the Windows plus V button. Windows Dictation is now voice typing. You can use it with the Windows plus H button and type anything with your voice. Its design is fresh and optimized for the touch keyboards. With this build, Microsoft has included one more item in the settings. Now you can manage your disks and volumes directly from the Settings app. You can create and format volumes, assign drive letters, and view disk information. These are notable changes happening in Windows 10. You might see these changes in the upcoming feature update 20H2. We will keep updating you, so subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to receive alerts when we do that.